My 1999 New Jetta TDI recently developed a problem with the analog brakes. As I was uh, coming to a stop, almost uh, completely stopped, you'd begin to feel the pedal uh, pulsate like a wheel was locking, even though uh, conditions were not slippery. Then the uh, analog brake light came on. So let's investigate that some. To uh, see what's actually going on in the computer, I'm going to be using my uh, Rostec uh, Viacom cable. All right, cable's connected up. Turn the uh, key on. We'll go over to here. Select the control module. Analog brakes. Let's see if I can turn this flash off. There we go. And there you go. And I've actually retrofitted ASR to this car, as you can see here. So let's go over to fault codes. And there you go. ABS wheel speed sensor right rear. Now this just goes to show how powerful this software is. Without this, you would spend a lot of time with a multimeter trying to figure out what sensor is what and everything. So, The first step in troubleshooting is to clear the codes and uh, now they came right back but that doesn't mean anything immediately so I'm going to close out of this, close out of this. Uh, come in here and turn the car off. Turn it back on. Come back to here. And now we'll see if the codes have come back right away. If they've come back right away, that probably means that this is a hard electrical problem. No fault codes found. So, this actually warrants a little bit more investigation. Well, I uh, closed and reopened the control module again and the fault code did come right back. So that means we've got a uh, hard electrical fault. It's not a fault with the uh, tone wheel that gives the sensor its signal, it's the sensor itself. If it was a problem with the tone wheel, this wouldn't come back right away. So. Uh, Let's go over to that uh, right rear wheel. I'm going to go ahead and lift the car up. I love having this, uh, this lift. It's so handy. I wanted to show you one more feature of VAGCOM here. If we go into the measuring blocks of the ABS controller and look here this actually can show us the output from the, v the wheel speed sensor so like here on the the uh, rear left wheel which is conveniently right here um, if I spin this you'll see that it will show us speed and of course that's decreasing as the as the wheel uh, slows alright so I've already done this test on the other side and I know that that wheel is not uh, showing any speed so uh, let's go ahead and pull that wheel off and see what we can see All right, wheels off. So now we can uh, get a better look at what's going on inside of here. Uh, here, this piece right here is the actual analog brake sensor. This is the uh, the brake hydraulic line, brake bleeder. And uh, what I want to do now is remove this uh, connector and test the sensor with a meter to 
see if the problem is the sensor or the wiring to the computer. Hopefully it's the sensor. To remove this plug, you push down on this tab and it lifts up here at the end. I also had to kind of pry up on it just a little bit and then it slid off very easily. You'll note that the contacts in here are uh, gold plated because this is a very uh, sensitive signal. Alright, so I'm very carefully holding my uh, test leads in the sensor and you can see my meter says that it is totally open. This is a dead sensor. If you touch the leads together it will beep and change. So I've already done a little bit of diagnostics on this and I knew this sensor was bad so I actually picked up another one. And here it is. Take it out of the box. And uh, so how this works is there's a magnet in the end of this and there is what's called the tone wheel on the inside of the brake brake rotor here that has slots in it and as these slots go past the magnet they actually make a little bit of electricity and that's how the computer knows how fast the wheel is going around it actually looks at the pulses you can see inside of there there's just the uh, the two pins so I'm now got my test leads on the new sensor and you can see on the meter whoops uh, there that it's like 0.8 ohms it's not a, a, um, a short but there is continuity there and we were getting nothing on the other sensor so let's uh, pull that old sensor out got the uh, bolt out without too much trouble it's a uh, five millimeter on this car all right, so you can see by this that things didn't quite go as planned. Um, what actually happened is, as I tried to pull this sensor out and hammered at it, it just disintegrated. So I had to pull the caliper off to do that. I had to undo this mount for the parking brake cable. And now you can see the top part of the sensor right here covered in rust and then this this piece here is if the camera would focus is the tone wheel there we go and you can see how it has teeth that just move under the ABS uh, wheel speed sensor uh, interesting tidbit this piece and I'm, I'm not sure if this is the same on the, on the Mark V cars, but on the Mark II, Mark III, and Mark IV cars, this piece is the same on all of them. So now I'm going to try and uh, hammer away at this and see if I can get it to pop out. This is not going well.